When we heard the rumors so Red Bull might get us as a sponsor to the club, we all were really happy. You don't have to do whatever your president says. The only chance we have is to refound our club. We are a fan on that club. Believe me, nobody will kill this club. Austria Salzburg was founded in 1933. Austria Salzburg was very popular during the 90s due to their success. They have been champions of Austria three times. In 1994 we played an UEFA Cup final against Inter Milan. Where we lost, but we have been there. They got a huge support throughout Austria then. 2003, 2004, 2005 we had a bad area. We didn't play well, we didn't have a lot of money. In 2005 Amateschitz moved in, the owner of Red Bull. And first fans thought, okay, this could be a chance because they, they were on the edge of bankruptcy. When we heard the rumors so Red Bull might get us as a sponsor to the club, we all were really happy. After a couple of days and weeks, we more and more recognized that uh, Red Bull uh, they didn't want to be a, a sponsor. As we know it, they just bought the license of our club to create a new club and to start with that club in the first division. He openly said that he's not uh, fond of uh, organized fans. This was the moment where he brought the people against him. They changed the, the club colors and the name and everything and we recognized how they really think about football and tradition when they offered us fans. The, the goalkeeper can wear violet socks. And then we said, okay, no, that's, that's impossible, it's not our club. Fans decided to run their own club. And the new Austria Salzburg was formed in 2005, more or less immediately after Red Bull uh, revealed the plans to, to change everything. We started in the seventh league. It took us 10 years now to come back to professional football. Now we're in the second league. I've been really great years. So you've, there were emotions that you never had before and probably you will never will have again. It was a very impressive action playing at, at grounds you couldn't imagine. Small villages which had less inhabitants that we brought fans to their games. We had a very, very uh, good connection with our fans. You must feel this, yeah? You have this in your soul, in your heart, when you go on the ground and then the, the whole stadium uh, stands up and the thinking the, the Austria Salzburg uh, hymn, it's, yeah, it's fantastic. I, I think the story of the new Austria Salzburg is so important because it shows the fans around the world that you don't have to do whatever your president says. Football just should not work like that and a lot of uh, things show that it's, it doesn't work. Football is more than, than money, I think life is more than money and uh, when I can uh, speak uh, 30, 40 years later with my uncles, uh, yeah, I would tell them uh, what uh, victory, what emotions uh, we had on the, on the pitch and uh, that's, that's much more for me. There are certain points where you have to take these radical steps and I think this is also important for fans to know it and also for the owners that the, the people won't follow the club.